Supervised fine tuning, SFT, is a process where a pre trained machine learning model, such as OpenAI's GPT, is fine tuned using labeled data to enhance its performance on specific tasks. In contrast to unsupervised learning, where the model learns patterns from data without explicit instruction, SFT uses examples with clearly defined inputs and corresponding outputs to train the model more effectively. Here's a step by step breakdown of the SFT process. 1. Pre-training the model Objective. Start with a general-purpose, pre-trained model. Description. The model is initially trained on vast amounts of unlabeled data, like books, articles, and websites, to learn the underlying structure of the language. During pre-training, the model learns to predict the next word or sequence based on the text, building a general understanding of syntax, grammar, and basic knowledge. Example. Task. Predict the next word in the sentence, the Scottle output, blue. Enter 2. Collect labeled data for fine-tuning. Objective, gather task-specific data for fine-tuning. Description, the next step is collecting a data set that includes examples of the task the model will perform after fine-tuning. The data set is labeled, meaning it contains both inputs and the correct outputs. For example, if the task is summarization, the data set would consist of documents, inputs, and their corresponding summaries outputs. Example, task, summarize a news article. Data set, articles paired with their human written summaries. Number three, prepare the data. Objective, format the data for training. Description, ensure the labeled data is in the proper format for training the model. This typically involves cleaning the data, removing inconsistencies, duplicates, or irrelevant information, and converting it into a format that the model can process, such as tokenizing the text into input-output pairs. Example, input, article, OpenAI launches new AI model. Output, OpenAI released an updated AI model. Four, fine-tuning the model. Objective, adjust the model weights using labeled data. Description, the pre-trained model is then fine-tuned on the labeled data set. During this stage, the model is shown input-output pairs, and it adjusts its parameters, weights, to minimize the difference between its predictions and the correct output. This is done through a process called gradient descent, where the model iteratively improves itself based on the errors it makes. Key process, forward pass, the model predicts an output based on the input. Loss calculation, the error or loss is calculated by comparing the predicted output to the true output. Backpropagation, the model adjusts its parameters to reduce the error. Example, input, the Eiffel Tower is located in true output, Paris, model output, London. Loss, the difference between London and Paris is calculated. Update, the model adjusts its weights to improve the likelihood of predicting Paris next time. Five, evaluating model performance. Objective. Measure how well the model has learned. Description. After fine-tuning, the model's performance is evaluated on a validation set, which is another set of labeled data that wasn't used during training. This helps assess how well the model generalizes to unseen examples. Common metrics used for evaluation depend on the task, such as accuracy, precision, recall, or blue score for language tasks. Example. Validation set. A new set of articles with summaries. Task, the model generates summaries and compares them with the true summaries to measure how well it performs. Number six, adjust hyperparameters if needed. Objective, optimize the training process. Description, if the model is underperforming, you might adjust the hyperparameters, learning rate, batch size, number of epochs, etc., to improve performance. This iterative process is often required to strike a balance between underfitting, not learning enough, and overfitting, learning too much noise from the training data. Example, adjust, lowering the learning rate to make smaller adjustments to the model's parameters during each update. Seven, deploy the fine-tuned model. Objective, make the model available for use. Description, once fine-tuning is complete and the model performs well on the validation set, it is ready for deployment. The fine-tuned model is now optimized for a specific task like text summarization, translation, or answering questions, and can be integrated into applications or services. Example, deployment, integrating the fine-tuned GPT model into a customer service chatbot to generate accurate, helpful responses.
Example of SFT process. 1. Pre-training stage. GPT is trained on a general language model task, such as predicting the next word in sentences from books or websites. Prompt, the quick brown fox jumps over the. 2. Labeled data collection. A data set for a specific task, like question answering, is prepared. Input, who is the president of the USA? Correct output, Joe Biden. 3. Fine tuning. The model is trained on this labeled data set so that it learns to provide accurate answers to factual questions. After fine tuning, the model becomes better at answering questions with direct and accurate information. Benefits of SFT 1. Task specialization. Fine tuning adapts the model to specific tasks like summarization, translation, or answering questions. 2. Improved accuracy. SFT helps models generate more accurate and relevant outputs as they are trained on task specific data. 3. Efficiency. Fine tuning allows leveraging the knowledge from pre trained models without starting from scratch, saving both time and computational resources. Supervised fine tuning, SFT, allows pre trained models like OpenAI's GPT to be adapted for specific tasks, making them more accurate, efficient, and useful for practical applications.